And while it certainly has been a very wet monsoon so far, with more than three and a quarter inches in the official rain gauge at Sky Harbor, that doesn't mean we're out of the woods as far as Arizona's drought goes. Team 12's William Pitts explains why our drought is far from over. A lot of places are still cleaning up after two weeks of monsoon storms, and you might think that that would put a dent in our drought, but you would be wrong. It's not even close. More rain than we've had in years. Flooded washes, highways, storm damage. Enough to make you think that whatever drought we're having is long gone. But these storms were a drop in the bucket. We're going to need quite a few years of above average precipitation to recharge these systems. Officials say there's a difference between short term and long term. The long term is what's making Lake Mead more than 150 feet below normal. What you're seeing on this reservoir here at Lake Mead is the result of two, a little over two decades of drought, about 22 years. Lake Mead's water comes from the Rockies, mostly from snow, not rain. And since that's where our water comes from and the lakes in Nevada, a storm down here won't touch that at all. Typically in the summer, precipitation doesn't budge a great deal the the big reservoirs. The National Weather Service puts out a drought monitor that does show Arizona's improving, but that means things like fire danger and groundwater. Well, that does very much contribute to uh, ameliorating the short-term drought, getting help and get rid of those short-term issues. So while the latest round of storms means the desert's probably not going to burn as easily and it's a lot greener, we're still in a drought. Lake Mead is still at record low levels and Central Arizona Project is still going to have to cut its water to agriculture. The one thing we can't control is how much um, snow and rain are going to come from the sky. So even though that rain was great, what we need to combat that drought is years of good snow. And it's not looking like a great winter either. The National Weather Service says it's looking like La Nina is coming back, and that usually means a drier winter. William Pitts, 12 News. Will, thanks. And you can head to 12news.com slash scorched earth to catch our entire series on the drought and the impact it's had on the southwest. You can also find an interactive map that will show you areas impacted by water shortages.